son. Yeah, pa. How many times have I warned you? The streets got nothing for you. Here we go. You want death? Or do you want life? Come on. I should've been dead when I sold them drugs When I broke that bread, I should've been judged Young man, I could've been scared But I wasn't gon' say it in front of them thugs How the hell do you get to the point When you're looking at a joint like you gon' smoke How the jail cell look when you can't go home On the phone trying to call your folks I should've been choked When the police came and I ran with the rest of the fools I'm less than the best of the fools I should've been secondly guessing these dudes I should've been shot When I robbed that spot and the old man came out blaze I should've been sick Cause the chick I was with just found out she got AIDS I should've been paid But I didn't wanna go when they ran that blow up state, I should have been saved. But the church I know don't keep us out of escape. I should have been great, but I can't go back now. Everything all messed up. I should have been straight, but I smoked that crack now. Should have never hit that blunt. I should have been good, but the hood I'm in don't love nobody like me. I should have been free, but the dirt I did don't put that curse on me. I should have repent, but it ain't no hope. Trump done blew. I missed my boat. I could have been, would have been, should have been ready to go, but I ain't. Look. You can't live your life blaming me, blaming everybody for your mistakes. It's time you man up. What do you want in life? You're on the road to death. It's time for you to repent. In the city, she uttered her boy, her words. In the city, in the city of Jackson, she uttered her words right now, brother. Come on right behind that column, brother. We say it. How long? These simple ones. You know what she's saying? She's saying, how long will you simple ones? What you simple ones doing? What are you doing? Will you love simplicity? We gonna be simple all our lives. How long? That's what Wisdom Crying out saying to us right now. How long will you simple ones love simplicity? How long are we gonna be silly? We And the scorners delight in their scorning. And the scorners delight in their scorn. I've seen the sister over there uh, scorning all morning, all morning this morning, out here scorning. The prophets of God out here trying to bring out the truth to the people that we are, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are the Israelites according to the Bible. And if, if we don't repent, we're going to die in our sins right here in Jackson, Mississippi. Read. And fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge. What's the knowledge? It's God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Give me that, bro. Malachi 2 and 7. We're going to find out what the knowledge is that we need to know as a people. Bring it out. So we won't die right here not keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments in the chief concourse. Bring it out. Huh? Right here in Jackson, Mississippi. Come on and stop by, brother, and talk to us. Look at that thing, bro. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. The priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. Bring so you ain't going to hear that tomorrow. Well, you ain't up in the uh, church house, sitting all being all quiet, listening to some some garbage. See, the priest lips ain't gonna keep no knowledge. Uh, bring it out. That's why we out here. We supposed to be singing the law at our mouth. We, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. See, we out here. We messengers. We out here to bring this message to you that you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Bible. Yes. You are God's chosen people. Yes. Go back to uh, Proverbs chapter one. Where you was at, bro? The book of Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty. Wisdom crieth without. She utters her voice in the streets. She cries in the cheap places of concourse, in the opening of the gates. In the city she utters her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. See, that's all you got to do. Come over here and get this script now. The Most High going to make his words known unto you. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. So that's what we out here doing. We're trying to show our people their transgression. We're trying to show our people their sin. So they can come out of that thing. And keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments to get the kingdom. Bring it out. Up. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So that's why we out here talking loud. That's why we got these loud speakers out here. Because we out here crying aloud. We spare not. We ain't worried about your feelings out here today. We out here to show you your transgressions. According to the Bible. We 
and show my people their transgressions. Oh, he, that's a possessive word. He said, show my people. That's a possessive word. That's a possessive pronoun. Matter of fact, Bring it out. that's my people. God's got his own people. Read. And the house of Jacob, their sins. So that's why I'm here to show the house of Jacob, which is the Israelites, God's right. chosen people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. You are God's chosen people. And today is the Sabbath day, God's holy day. That's right. We, Bring it out. Give me uh, Isaiah uh, 50, 59 and 1. Start at verse 1. Bring it out. Bring it out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. See, we out here thinking we out here praying to the Most High God. And we think that he can't hear us. I can't help us. But the scripture said, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot say. Neither hear his ear heavy, and it cannot hear. But your iniquity has separated between you and your God. You see that? Come on, what? It says the Lord is not heaven where he can't hear. But he says our iniquity has separated us between us and our God. That's right. We and your sins have hid his face from you. So the scripture says his sin, our sins have hid his face from us. It's because we won't keep God's commandments. Give me Hosea 5 and 15. We Bring won't keep Bring God's out. commandments. Bring it out. That's the only problem. All we have to do is to keep God's commandments, and they are not grievous. That's They're not gonna hurt us. Right. The grow a beard on your face ain't gonna hurt you. That's right. right. The one to put some friends on your garment ain't gonna hurt you. That's right. To keep the Sabbath ain't gonna hurt you. Hey brother, I see you walking out the store, man. I, I know you wanna listen to this thing. Hey brother, put that put that look in the trunk. Come talk to us, brother. Read the book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. See, that's what the most high done done. That's why we're getting jacked up right now. Because the Most High said he would go and return to his place until, 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 until we acknowledge our offense. We must acknowledge what we have done wrong. We, and seek my face in their afflictions, they will seek me early. See, that's the thing. And I'll pray this to the Most High. He said this, that, that in our affliction, we will seek him early. Give me all Psalms chapter 119, verse 71. All praises to the Most High for the affliction that he putting on our people, that we can see who we are as a people, that we can turn to the Most High and come back as the Israelites and get the kingdom. Read that thing. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 71. It is good for me that I have been afflicted. You hear that what David said? It is good for him that he have been afflicted. That we get jacked up every day. It's good for us that we get jacked up every day. Read. That I might learn thy statutes. That we might learn the statutes of the Most High. Because we're going to run to him when we get afflicted. We're going to run to the Most High when we get jacked up all the time. Give me all Lamentation 4 and 17. Bring it up. Because we always get jacked up by our own person. Even our own people, they jacking us up. Because we won't keep God's commandments. Read the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. See, our eyes, we, we done yet fail. Our eyes yet fail for our vain help. We waiting for some vain help. Some, some help that's not going to even help us. We waiting for that thing. Our eyes just, just done went dim looking for the help to come from the so-called white man. Oh, he, he loves us. He going to help us out. He going to give us social security. He going to give us food stamps. Bring it out. We, in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. See, that's what's going on. We sitting out here waiting for the so-called white man to help us and he can't save us. The only person that's going to save us is Christ. That's right. He died for you, the black Messiah. That's we out here waiting for somebody that can't do nothing for us. So we got to come out of our wicked ways. And there's a, there's a way that the Bible gives us to come out. Give me um, 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 46. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Bring it out. Start at verse 46, brother. The book of 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy. See, that's what's going to happen to us right now. We've been delivered unto our enemy. But we're still waiting for that vain help from them, from this nation that can't even save us. Read. 
so that they carried them away captives unto the land of their enemy, far or near. See, we come out of Jerusalem. Yeah, we've been carried away to, to our captive's land this time and far. But we do have some brothers close to Jerusalem. They got carried away close. But they still suffer under the same oppression that we suffer uh, under today. We really? Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. See, yet. It says yet. Meaning that's a, that's a chance. If they bethink themselves, meaning remember who they are. Remember that they are the Israelites according to the Bible. And they have laws, statutes, and commandments that they must keep. That's really? right. In the land whither they were carried captives, and repent, and make supplications unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive. See, we gotta we gotta repent right here in the land that, that they carried us captive, right here in front of their faces. Bring we gotta up. repent, That's and we right. gotta return to come become the Israelites again. We That's right. saying we have sinned, so we gotta say we done sinned, we done done some wicked stuff. We and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto thee with all their hearts and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. So that's what we got to do that right here. We got to turn them back from our sins right here in America, in the land where they carried us away captive. How you doing, brother? Come across that street. How you doing, man? Uh, you, got, you got a minute to talk to us, brother? I want to ask you a question, brother. You like a very intelligent brother there. I just want to ask you a question, man. Uh, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Say again. You don't know? You, you know your nationality, your race? What's your race? You, you don't know all that? Well, according to the Bible, you're an Israelite, according to the Bible. That's you right. are God's chosen people. We are here to, to teach you that you have to keep God's laws, statutes, commandments. I see you got that beard on your face. So why you wear that beard? Just like your daddy do, huh? You know, Christ wore a beard also. All right, brother. All right, let me let me let me read one scripture to you, man, and then I want to uh, I'm gonna let you go, bro. Uh, give me um, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 6 to 8. You see, you know how we got on this side of the world, the black people. You know how we got over here. You know how we got here on this side of the world to America. You don't know. We come over here on slave ships, and it's recorded in the Bible. I'm gonna read that thing to you right now, right? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 6 to 8. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord is going to bring us in Egypt. Egypt simply means slavery again with ships. You understand that, bro? Bring it up. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So when we got off them slave ships, we were sold to our enemies. Who was our enemies, bro? Who bought us when we got off them slave ships? The, the who? White folk. Bring it up. The white folk. Right. The Bible calls my what? Right, bro. The, the Bible calls my what? Your enemies. The Bible calls my what? My enemies. So who brought us when we got off those slave ship? My enemy. And who are they? My enemy. What 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 we call them today? Our crockers. That's right. That's right. That's right, bro. That's right, brother. So we find out that them people that sold us on them slave ships, them not our friends. You know what Christ looked like, brother? Who, who is this right here? Who is this? Who is this? They showed us that, didn't they? Well, who is this over there? Who is that? Who is that? that? That's who? Black Christ. Say it again. The Black Christ. All right. Verse 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Bible said we are holy people unto the Lord thy God. We holy, separated. That's, that's different from everybody else. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. All right, so he, he told us to be special. You like you got special clothes you like to wear, don't you? You got, you got a special drink you like to drink now. Now, you probably drank anything else, but there's one drink you like that's special to you. So God chose us to be a special people. That's right. We above all people that are on the face of the earth. So we are above. We not below. You see the... What you call them people while they go to the bars on them slave ships? What you call them? Crap. All right, when you see them, they think they're above us. But the Bible says we are what? Above all people that are on the face of the earth. That's, That's right. us. We are above all people on the face of the earth. You hear That's that, brother? Right. I just want to encourage you, brother. We got to get ready and close out. But um, you're an Israelite according to the Bible. Don't let nobody else tell you anything different, bro. And we got to keep God's commandments.
Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.